Hello and welcome friends. Today I'll show you how to install Sigwin on your Windows machine. Sigwin on your Windows machine. Sigwin is nothing but uh, your Unix simulator. So your first step is to download the Sigwin exe. So I'll download the Sigwin exe from www.sigwin.com. So here you can download the exe file. So here so your Sigwin installation is complete. Now run the Sigwin exe. So once you run the Sigwin XE, you need to select if you are having the previous installation of Sigwin, you can select it from the local directory or you have to install it from the internet. I am installing it for the first time, so I will install it from the internet. I will select the root directory where the Sigwin will be installed. You can change this directory to anywhere you want, but I will leave it as it is. The package directory where you want to keep the Sigwin package. So I'll change it. I'll I'll change it to C drive only. So I'll hit next. Use if you are having some proxy, you can use the proxy. I'll have a direct connection. I'm using direct connection. Hit next. So you can select any one of the mirrors from here. Select one mirror, hit next. So it will show an error if you are installing Sigwin for the first time. Don't worry, just hit OK. So here you have to select the packages. You can select the complete, you can see, you can leave this as default. So you can select install, reinstall, uninstall all the applications. If you select default, it will select all the default applications. And if you want to select all, it will take your very much disk space as well as it will take very much time. So don't need, we don't need to install all the components. Just you can set it as default and you can select what you want to suppose if you install grep or Suppose you want to install VI, so VI will be there in your editors. So you can see your VI is there, so you can click on this, so it will include this. If you want to install any other command such as your SSH, so here your SSH protocol libraries, you need to include this. You can include like this, by clicking, hitting like this. You want to in uh, telnet. SSH, FTP, you can select FTP from here also, TFTP, NFTP, whichever you want to own. Select. So you can select n number of packages which you require. So you have to type your required package here in the search box. So I have selected also, if you want, so, such as your some commands will not work if you install Sigwin. So such like your clear command. Clear command requires your n curses package. So you can install this also. You can do whatever you want. I'll hit next. I've selected the packages. Hit next. So it will, it will calculate the disk size and download the packages and install it. So your Sigwin has successfully downloaded all the package. Now it is 
installing the packages one by one so let's wait and watch till the installation is finished so here your installation is complete so hit finish so let's check if signal segment is working or not i'll go to my desktop so your segment terminal is open now so this is your linux emulator you can do anything you can run your linux commands here you can change the directories you can do all the operation which you do on your linux machine you can also check the, if the vi is working or not so your vi is also working so this finishes this finishes your segwin installation but you so let's see here if this clear command is not working so if this command is not working if you want have missed some packages you can again go to the segwin installation and you can run the segwin installation once again and you can select the packages so let's check it let's run the segwin once again so if you have missed some packages you can also do once again the installation so here you can select So this will install. See this is the you want to keep. If you want to uninstall, you can reinstall it. You can also uninstall it. I'll keep this. So here we have to install these packages. Here we can install these packages once again. So the installation is complete once again. You can run the segment once again, and you can now check. So this command is working now. Previously it was not working. Now you have to keep in mind that once we have downloaded the installation, so here this will be your complete package which we have downloaded. So if you are downloading once again, if you want to install once again Linux on a different machine, just copy this folder. just uh, do the installation once again and instead of selecting the option down install from internet you can select install from local directory and you can select the package which which is there so you can also install it like in this way so that finishes your segwin installation thanks for watching For more videos click on log on to www.youtube.com/technologylab Thanks for watching once again bye bye